the first thing that we are building is the navigation. As you guys see, we have a uh, we have the logo on the left, and then we have our menu on the right. And our navigation has a darker uh, color, uh, which we will add to it. And then it it has this uh, uppercase text, and when uh, it also has this hover effect when we hover the over the menu you know you guys uh, you can see this there's like a darker color than the color of navigation itself and once we finish building the navigation then we check for the small device so on the small device we want this navigation to disappear and it just uh, style itself uh, on a block style and there is a hamburger menu icon it will appear on the right when we click on the icon on the menu icon there should be a list drop there should be a drop down list and if we have click if we click again on it the menu should close so let's go and build the navigation let's get rid of these codes that we don't need anymore just gave it a comment to make sure we know where our navigation starts. To create the navigation, we start with a div with an ID of my navbar and give it a class of navbar. And then we want this navbar to have the default design. So navbar. We give it navbar default and then we want this navbar to fixed on top give it the class of navbar fixed top and we just give it a rule of navigation and then we wrap our code inside a container And then we create our div header, div with a class of navbar, with class of header. And then, uh, so the first thing that we create is the, the hamburger icon that when it's on a small device like iPhone, so that hamburger icons appear on the right. To create that, we start with creating a button uh, with the class of navbar toggle, gave this button a type type is button and let's give it a data toggle data toggle of collapse and give it a data target of nav bar class collapse So we haven't created this class yet, but we are going to create it pretty soon. And then we need to create those uh, three lines inside that icon. So to do that, we need three span class of icon bar. And we need three of these. Command D, it will duplicate it for you. And the next thing that we are creating is our logo. So we want our logo in a anchor tag with a class of nav bar brand the website name will be media you can name it whatever you want and the next thing that we need to create is an ordered list you make sure you come up uh, it's outside of this navbar header so we wrap our unordered list in a div with a class of navbar collapse so this is the class that we gave it right here We'll target this uh, unordered list and then we give it uh, another class of collapse and then we create our unordered list and we gave it a class of uh, nav nav bar nav and then we want this unordered list to appear on the right side of the navigation bar so we to do that we give it a class of nav bar right and this will push it to the right so now it's time to create our list now we create a list a an anchor tag first one would be the header section and the name will be 
home. The reason we put header here because this will be the first page that will appear on the screen and later on once we create our once we create our sections so we will link all of those sections that when uh, when we click on the navigation it will take us to that section that's why I put that the uh, names there the next one is uh, control D and it will duplicate the whole thing for you the next one is the service section service mm. it's actually services so let's give it one S and the next one is uh, pricing pricing let's write it down here pricing and the next one is uh, our team members let's give the name team and the next one is our client and uh, clients and the last one is our contact let's see how it looks on the browser fresh there we go we got our navigation the default navig nav bar in bootstrap so let's see if we get that uh, burger hamburger me uh, menu icon on the right if we see this on a small device so again you just come if you're on firefox come to this menu icon click and then uh, developer and then responsive design mode show it on a small device so here we have the little menu icon on the right if we click on it so our list will drop down and if we click on it it will cl close it this means that our navigation works let's style this navigation